welcome. This is Melissa Arma with Stock Swish, and I'm here reviewing Amazon. So I called the 3,300 calls today in Amazon, and it was a nice call because it shot right up like a brick. And you know what? The interesting thing is that um, I think it moved so fast that it kind of took people by surprise. Uh, here's what I was looking at. So we opened today, actually we opened at 3310. We're up a little higher than that this morning and I called it underneath where it was, which I don't always do, but I expected it this to swing around today. Anyways, high today was 3380. Target really, I thought today was 3400. Dream target this week is 3500. Uh, but I thought real target was 3400 for this particular call. However, if you did it and got right out, which I'll show you the 15 minute in a minute, that was fine. But it was not 100% return on investment. Not that you have to hold every trade to that, but um, I think this has the potential. Now I wanna just go over here and show you here. This is 33.44. So, you know, my expectation was that Amazon was gonna make new highs today. It did. But the way that this closed was like a doji, okay? It did not close like a big fat green bar. And the reason that it didn't is because of the market. I'm just gonna show you this here. It's because of the market. So actually, let's just look at the 15 minute. So the market gapped up today, did not call any longs in this, dropped off very quickly into the 10, 45, 11 o'clock period, and then pretty much didn't go anywhere the rest of the day. But we're up slightly tonight. We are actually gapping up here tonight in the QQQs. So my thoughts here on this Amazon is that it can make another move, meaning that if it gaps up tomorrow, it could run up again in the go over today's high, and then run up to the 3,400, and then probably run through the 3,400 this week or even if a gap's neutral. So a gap up would be higher, a neutral gap would be higher. To be honest with you, I can't see how this is gonna gap down, you know, especially if the market's up tonight. In fact, let's see if this is up tonight. Oh, I think this is flat. It's just flat, nothing going on here. Yeah. So anyways, that's my read on this. So if you got right out of it in the run up, fine. But I don't even know if it was 50%. I don't even think it was 50%. I mean, I guess it depends where you got filled in this, but I don't even think this was 50%. So usually money management rules with options 50 to 100%, but you could have done it quick and you could have got out quick and you could have booked the money and called it a day. However, I wouldn't be surprised at all if this goes to the number that I thought that it could today, which it got really close to which was 3,400, and probably because of the market. This is the only reason that this didn't go there today, that this closed like this today. But to be honest with you, looking at this bar here, I don't think this messes up anything in the read of the chart. And again, don't forget, this is a very, very, very strong chart, okay? Good luck, everyone. If you're interested in subscribing to the Gap Option newsletter, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day.